Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to compare this month's sales versus last month's sales or this year's or this quarter sales versus the last quarter sales. So let's get started with this tutorial. So let me show you the data set that I have over here. I have an orders table which has all of the sales information and then I also have a calendar table which is connected to my orders table with the order date and the date date column in the calendar table. Now, if you don't have a calendar table, please make sure that you have a calendar table in your model. And there's a video that is available on my channel on how to create a calendar table. So please watch that. And then once you add the calendar table, you will notice that I don't have a, a, a quarter here column, which, which is given a, a column here, which with the quarter details, I don't have that particular column here. So let's go ahead and add a particular, add the quarter column. So I'm gonna call this as quarter is equals to, let me just bring it, increase the size of this. If month number, I have month number in my calendar table. Okay, if month number in, I'm gonna open the curly brackets and say one comma two comma three. So this is if your uh, quarter is starting from January, right? So if your quarter Q1 is let's say starting from April onwards, then you enter four, five, six in the beginning here. Okay. So one, two, three, if it is one, two, three, then return Q1 in the quotes here, comma, and then it's asking me to enter if what if it is false, and then I'm going to copy the entire thing over here from here and paste this again and change these values to four, five, and six. And this is going to be Q2, okay, comma, and then we'll go to the next line here, paste again, and press enter. So if you see here, we have added Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, okay, let's come back over here and uh, bring in year and quarter in our table. Let's create a matrix, okay. Uh, here, I don't need this to be summarized, so I'm going to go here, click on don't summarize and bring the year above the quarter so that we create a hierarchy here okay and let's filter out for let's say just uh, 2020 and 2021 okay uh, basic filtering and then i just need 2020 and 2021 and then i'm going to expand this okay and let's go here and bring in the sales amount okay we've now brought in the sales amount. So I, I already have a measure here, which is calculating our total sales. So let me get rid of this and add the measure instead over here. Okay, so I have the measure here, which is calculating the sales, I'm going to quickly change this to dollar here. Okay, now let's create a new column. Okay, call this as previous is equals to calculate total sales comma here I'm going to use the function called as previous quarter okay and then I'm going to select the date from the calendar table I'm going to select the date from the calendar table close the bracket close the bracket again and press enter and let's quickly bring this particular uh, measure into this particular chart over here and you will see that in Q2 here we have the current Q2 sales is 133 and then the last Q1 sales here against this is 123. Okay, likewise, you will see 133 is over here. And if you see here, Q1 123, it is now appearing here in Q2 under previous quarter sales. Okay, and then what you can do is you can also create a new measure and calculate the difference. I'm gonna say new measure and then this quarter versus previous quarter is equals to okay uh, total sales minus um, the measure that we just created which is previous quarter sales okay and press enter and if you add this you will get the difference over here so you will see that uh, for example over here 133 and 123 the difference is 10,000 right so likewise, you can also do the same thing here for months as well. So you can simply go here and uh, where is my measure? It's over here. So instead of previous quarter over here, you can 
type in previous month or you can also do previous year and you will get the same results right so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials